Good morning. Good morning and uh, welcome back <laughs> to Peace Through the Word Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church Benson, Arizona, in the United States of America, and LCMS Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod Congregation. I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, coming to you this morning from my study in Sawadita, Arizona, in the United States. And we apologize for the delay in getting a broadcast out to you. I had some technological issues with the con the uh, contrast of the image. Uh, not sure what that was, but apparently it's cleared up. I'm not sure if it was a web problem or what the problem was. But uh, we're thankful that it got cleared up, amen. So we apologize for that. But my brothers and sisters, so good to be able to welcome you this morning uh, on this uh, first week of the church year of Advent, where we celebrate the coming of Jesus Christ. And, and Jesus came the first time, no question about it. But my brothers and sisters, let me tell you very emphatically, Jesus is coming again. And when he comes again, it's going to be a whole lot different than when he came the first time. He's not coming as the baby Jesus. He's not coming as, you know, grace and mercy and peace and love and all that. He's coming as King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He's coming to execute judgment, and he's coming, and he's upset, all right? But he's going to take those that are trusting in him home. But he's going to right the wrong, and the wrong is emphatic today, and it is uh, intense, intensely wrong in the United States, and he's going to hold the United States to a much more severe judgment than probably any other empire in the history of the world because of how much he's blessed the United States and how the United States has turned its back on Jesus Christ. So serious things coming on the horizon as we come together this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this Advent, Jesus is going to be giving us uh, messages and promises uh, to encourage us, even in spite of tremendous challenges and tribulations. And so the first thing he's going to talk about this morning is living water. And notice that Jesus always uses water. Water has always been here. And he uses water. Why? Because water is the source of life. Without water, you can't have life. Therefore, therefore you're, you're born again. You're, you're given a new person, new life through holy baptism. And that happens when you're a little baby through sacramental ministry. Okay? <laughs> a lot of good things. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that this morning, living water, as we come together this morning. So, O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. And so this very first subject on living water comes from the uh, Gospel of St. John, chapter 4, beginning in verse 25. And St. John records Jesus' uh, 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 words as follows. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming. He who is called Christ, Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Now this is the account of Jesus with the woman at the well. She was a Samaritan. And Jesus simply asked for a drink of water. And in the course of that conversation, uh, this recording took place. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. When Jesus asked the woman for a drink, it may have seemed like a simple request, most assuredly. Instead, it was a barrier breaker request. Jews and Samaritans did not talk to each other. 
But in the context of needing a simple drink of water, Jesus breaks through prejudices, hatred, and bitterness so that a relationship of love and care might develop. And that's the same thing we are to do as, as we have normal conversation with people is look for an opportunity to present a spiritual message, to share Jesus. Jesus did this so he could move the woman to know and receive water like no other, which would spring up to eternal life. It's the same thing we are to do. Cultural barriers still exist that force us to live in our own little worlds. We hang around with only certain people. But Jesus calls us to come out of our comfort zones. He calls us to see all people as he sees them, spiritual, thirsty, and in need of living cleansing water. The Samaritan woman left it all behind and followed the one who had set her free forever. This Advent, Jesus calls us to repentance and hope in the life-giving waters that flow from his plenteous redemption. So may we follow him and draw closer to the word of God, during not only during this Advent season, but throughout the rest of our lives. So allow me to pray. So, dear Jesus, please forgive our prejudices. Help us see and share by faith through the Holy Spirit's power, our Savior, who has come to set us free. Amen. <clears throat> so, O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. So blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He's come to his people. He's redeemed them. He's raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue to pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let me thank you again for chiming in this Monday morning to Peace of the Word. Pray it has blessed you, inspired you, encouraged you, and given you genuine real peace today. And so it's a beautiful day here in southern Arizona. Pray it's a beautiful day wherever you might be. And so the blessings of the Lord are new to you each and every day in abundance. And I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>